Hey everybody, welcome to the podcast. Before we get into uh, watching Mandy, I uh, just want to let you know about our sponsor. It's a movie called Sir John A. and the Curse of the Annie Quenched. It's a movie that stars John Dunsworth from Trailer Park Boys, Spenny from Candy vs. Spenny, and a lot of other funny Canadians. It's about two brothers that saved the town of Kingston uh, from demons, and they basically have to stay drunk to fight these demons. Uh, so you can check it out on iTunes, Amazon, or wherever you get your movies. Are you telling me that you built a time machine? Out of a DeLorean? Welcome to the Raiders of the Lost Commentary Podcast. Welcome to Jurassic Park. The unofficial commentary for your favorite... Death of the Chopper! ...and not-so-favorite films. The famous comedian, Adam Braunschweiger. Starring your hosts, Adam and Matt. Can you dig it? Start your movie in three, two, one. All right, here we go. Mandy. Uh, is that what we're watching? So you've seen this movie just a few days ago. Yesterday, actually, is it? Uh, Tuesday, yeah. Tuesday. Which is two days previous from now. Yeah, I mean, whoever's this. watching this, like, maybe they'll watch it Saturday. They'll be like, oh, that's like a week. No, 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 like two days ago. We, uh, I did see it. Um, I did miss the start of it. Oh, so, so I will, here we go. I will be. How much did you miss? I don't know. I'll tell you when I came into the theater. <laughs> I'm excited to know where you're going to be. Um... I hope, like, when we got in the theater and, uh, like, enough stuff happened, I was, and then this other title came up, and I was like, I don't know if we're at the right theater, in the right theater. <laughs> really? You were at the wrong one? No, I just, I, I, I thought for a second we were in oh. the wrong thing, but, um, so this movie, uh, Mandy, starring Nicolas Cage, the one and only Nicolas Cage, uh, directed by Panos Cosmatos. I believe I'm saying that correctly. Probably not. Uh, I watched a bunch of interviews. I'm pretty oh, sure probably that's then. what it was. When I die. Um, Bury me deep. deep. Ooh. It's like some sort of demon. I know nothing about this movie. I saw one of those Facebook trailer things, and it just it just had Nick Cage cover in blood. And I'm like, oh, wow. Okay. It's as though, like, somebody that read, like, Fangoria listened to... Metal? Uh, kind of death <laughs> metal, likes, uh, I don't know, weird stuff, and uh, wanted to make a movie. His first movie, Black Over the Black Rainbow or something like that? Yeah, Somewhere Over the Black Rainbow. Somewhere <laughs> Over the Black Rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> um... But, uh, yeah, his first movie, Over the Black Rainbow, that, uh, it, like, I don't know, it got a lot of, like, uh, critical acclaim, I guess. Oh, okay, um, that's good. That's how you make more movies. And, uh, they, uh, the people that, uh, funded this movie, which is, like, a, a company that, uh, not Daniel Radcliffe, who's the other guy? Who's the other guy who looks like Daniel Radcliffe? Elijah Wood. <laughs> they do! They do. Oh, my God, they're both short and look weird. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it's like his company funded this one, this one. Okay. Which, um, I kind of thought it was like a, um, like a movie for a low budget, but looking it up on IMDb, it was like a $6 million budget. Damn. Yeah. Which again, uh, I'm one, like, I'm wondering like, did it become $6 million once you attach Nick Cage? Because right. Like but then he again, he's in debt. So it's like, you'll make anything. <laughs> Uh, but I, like, I guess Nick Cage wanted to do it, but they wanted to cast him as the villain, actually. Really? You, did the, you just spoil uh, it? No, no. Okay. No, no, no. Like, it's just like a different character they wanted to. This feels very 80s. So it's set in 1983. That makes a lot of sense then. And um, he, um, this director, like everything he does, has this sort of like grainy feel. It's very um, uh, grindhouse kind of. Very, I guess grindhouse, but not, not a hundred percent grindhouse. Like an eighties B movie. A little bit, yeah. Like it's just like his style. Um, but um, oh, he's uh, he's he's cutting that chainsaw with. He's cutting that tree with that chainsaw, and he's looking mighty shaky. But it's got like um, it's got a look. Yeah, and it's as like, we see this thing being blue, yeah, I, 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 I'd agree with you. And like it, it's, it's got its own thing. Like it, you know what I mean? Like there's nothing else 
like this movie. today. <laughs> no, and like, like w- leaving the theater, like it's always like, and even watching it, I'm like, this is a movie where I'm like, watching the first time, I'm like, I don't know about this, but then it ends and you drive home, you're kind of like, yeah, okay, I, I actually really like this movie. You Interesting. Know? Interesting. All right. Well, uh, so now we're going to sit in silence for two hours and uh, enjoy this movie. See, produced by Elijah Wood. Look at that. Elijah. Written by Panos Cosmatos. So he's half Italian, half uh, Story by Panos Canadian. Cosmatos. Directed uh, by Panos Mastastos. <laughs> it's like the Mr. Bean movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, the uh, Mr. Bean's holiday. Yeah. <laughs> It's not as bad as the Tommy Wiseau, uh, the room where it's just like he did everything. Yeah. In, like, but like, it's like uh, in that one, it's not like written, direct, and produced by. No, no, it's like written by, produced by, <laughs> directed by, like costume designed by, <laughs> weird sex scenes by. Um, this uh, this movie also. I think has one of my favorite Nick Cage freakouts. Oh, that's that that I'm looking forward to. Matt is now leaving. Usually it's I who leave. Oh, he's turning down the light. Yeah, man. Getting it intimate in here. Exactly. I can't I can't watch this movie with the lights on. I'll turn down the brightness on the laptop too. Damn right. It's uh maybe I'd bring up the volume on this thing. So we don't have that, uh, the, what's it called? The uh, dirty work incident. <laughs> Watched a movie completely without any sound whatsoever. Okay. Yeah. Um, the Shadow Mountain. Yeah, there's these, all these titles that show up. That's weird. What is going on here? Yeah. And uh, almost none of them are... Relevant? Like, no, like the title of the movie. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah, because we haven't seen the Mandy title, have we? No, I think it, it shows up way later. Why is that a thing? Uh, like, I, they didn't used to have that, but to, to, nowadays they tend to put the title at the end and end of the film. Which, you know what? If I'm watching a movie, I want to know what the hell I'm watching. Yeah, if you come in a little later. <laughs> yeah. So, um,. Apparently, this like house that they're in, they yeah. built that. So they filmed it in Belgium. Apparently, they built the set, or this is an actual house. They built this like kind of house set thing. Right. So things are gonna happen in this house that they're, they're gonna destroy. I'm calling it right now. That's the only <laughs> reason you build a house, Adam, from scratch. <laughs> Called it. Um. So. Ooh. Yeah. Um. I fucking love Nick Cage. Like I used to. What 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 about him now? Do you not like? I, I mean, I don't know. I, I used to really like him. I I used to watch movies with him all the time. Of like you know, Raising Arizona. Oh yeah, that's one of my favorite movies. <laughs> Raising Arizona, Con Air, Turn right, <laughs> The Rock. Um, it could it could happen to you. Uh, I, I, watched I never a, watched Valley Girl, but I know that's like which one? Valley Girl. That's like his big. No, big one. I haven't seen that one. I, I even saw like uh, how Peggy Sue got married, or Peggy. Oh uh, yeah, married. Peggy Sue got married. That's a great one. It was all right. It was, yeah, <laughs> it was all right with it. But like, I enjoyed them. I remember trying to get like almost every single like uh, Nick Cage movie I could. And there was a turn. I think it's around the uh, the the the. Well, what's that movie called? Uh, Ghost Rider. So oh, okay. That, after that, when he hit that that stride, when his hair started looking very weird, that's I don't know his his choice in movies, and his acting just went like uh, over eleven. You know what I mean? Like cranked up all the way. Yeah, but like he still has these gems, though. Like he, I'm not saying he doesn't. We still have National Treasure. You're right, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you like him in? Um... Um, the superhero movie there, uh, Kick Ass. Kick Ass. I did enjoy him in Kick Ass because, like, man, it w- it was a full spectrum of Nick Cage. Like, oh no, absolutely, like, the amazing acting he's capable of. And I mean, this man won an, uh, an Academy Award. Man, he swings for the fences. <laughs> and I just want to let you know, this movie has one of 
the best Nick Cage freakouts. You've ever. already mentioned it before. I'm just saying, like, I, all right, I'm, I, like, I'm so excited. So you're to telling me it. it's better than Wicker Man's dressed in a bear outfit, punching women, yeah, and where how to get burned and the bees. This Way all better. combined, this one's still better. Way better. I think it'll go down as the best. The best freak out. I'm putting money on it now. <laughs> We're taking Place your bets. bets. <laughs> So I like I still haven't walked into the theater at this point. Damn, man, you're you're missing out all this like ex- exposition. That's what I like figured that. I was missing out on. Whoa, so there is a lot of like imagery in this movie where like oh. look at uh, you know I said after sky. I watched it like it's like this movie it's supposed to I think it's supposed to be like a skull maybe maybe um, or two giant balls. That's what I'm saying. I'm actually seeing breasts getting separate. Oh. So yeah, Look I at saw the sky it's, though. It's it's very. Uh, that's like such a fake sky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it still looks Compton. good, but it, it's okay. This is where I walked into the theater. This okay, so you didn't. Them you, in the boat. you missed like like eight minutes. I feel like I would have enjoyed the movie like three percent more if I had three percent. Oh, that's not a huge percent. It's not like uh, when I went to see Lord of the Rings. I think it's the Two Towers. It might have been the last one, but we walked in like after forty-five minutes. Oh. Cause like we're figuring like it's a lo- it's a long movie. We wouldn't we wouldn't why would that you much bother even going? Why don't I just wait till the we next were one? there, Adam? Okay, you, you don't understand when go you live to, in the country. Go to like and you go to town to town. All right, I know what you mean? Yeah, you don't go back into that. Like no, that was, that, that's what we wanted to go see. So that's what we saw. All right. It wasn't yeah. until years later that I actually understood what the hell was going on for those first like half hour. That's see, creepy. This shot, when you watch it out of context, I'm like. Is who he, is this woman? Is he dreaming? <laughs> is this like... Right, because you don't know who this is. No, and she's just walking. It's creepy. But this is sort of... Uh, he actually looks normal in this movie. Now. Like, yeah. right, like at, at this moment. Like, I haven't seen him this... Like, I feel like he got sick at one point, but didn't tell anybody. Because there was like a point by in his sick, career... By sick, do you mean high on cocaine all the time? Maybe, man. Like his hair was just like a bird and he was like really skinny and weird looking. <sighs> That's what coke does to you, man. Man, I should get on coke. I'd look so <laughs> much skinnier. <laughs> we do not in any way condone coke, but hey. Speak for yourself. <laughs> I'm talking about the all coke diet. The all coke diet. Um, That's not the Coca-Cola diet. That's a completely different diet. Um, this scene makes so much more sense now watching the start of the movie. And Does it though? I'm still kind of lost here. Yeah. It's, uh, it's one of the foreshadow sort of thing. Gotcha. Um, now that I know. But yeah, um, I dig the way this movie is very stylized. It, it's very unmotivated lighting. Very just. It's artsy fartsy, Adam. Just yeah, say it like it is. Yeah. It's, it's a, an artsy fartsy film. But I don't see it as artsy fartsy. I just see it as like <laughs> choices. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I, I just, I like calling artsy fartsy films. It's just like, it's a, it's a movie. It's are any artsy fartsy film to me. is just one of those movies that tries something differently. Yeah. They, they go for it. Yeah. It's not necessarily a bad thing. There are some very good movies in that way. Um, uh, is that a, <laughs> like, baby. is that D- Bambi? Yeah. I saw that. I'm like, no, don't touch it. You'll get Lyme disease. Yeah. It's bad. <laughs> Don't no. <laughs> I mean, ew. <laughs> it looks real. It looks maybe funny. it is real. It could be real. Gross. <laughs> the, I don't know. I didn't see the no animals were harmed. Oh, oh no. What well, you maybe it wasn't harmed. Maybe it. they just found it. And they're like, let's in- implement it to the script. See what I mean? Artsy yeah. fartsy. <laughs> Will this make any sense in the movie? No, not at all. Absolutely not. Is it a lamb? No, it a it's, deer? it's a deer. Doe? A deer? fawn, I fawn. think they call it. Pretty sure that's a... Th- um, Channel 13. Oh. that's Make sure to look out for Channel 13 later on in the movie, is what Adam's saying. The, um, Super important. So this director, apparently, I was reading in some of the IMDb um, trivia. Yeah, of course. Doing your research. He uh, likes this technique, uh, which is called... Um, is it like through glass? So it's not glass. If you look at the top right, you see a little hot spot up there of yeah. the frame. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh, sorry. Yeah, right there. <laughs> Matt knows his left and right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see it. So it's an LED light just at a frame. And that shining it into the lens? Into the barrel, and then it sort of like cascades across and makes it. I everything. like it. Yeah, I mean, it's got a I feel a, like I'm watching look. Star Trek again. Yeah, right? J.J. Abrams presents Mandy. <laughs> I don't know if they shot this anamorphic. It kind of looked anamorphic in the theater, but that that would give those like. I wanted to see it in IMAX 3D. No, this would look like butts in IMAX. <laughs> Just giant things missing from each side. <laughs> uh, I think it's just two through five, not actual anamorphic. Uh, oh no, it was anamorphic. Yeah, okay, so I was right. Um, but yeah, it's got this. Look, like he has this like way about doing things that you know everyone's got a style well not everyone that's not true you got those directors that play it safe yeah this is not one of them no which i sort of like like that i don't know that people take these kind of chances you well know? It, it, it either works or doesn't because you can you can have a movie with style coming out of the ass and yet you still make Justice League, so <laughs> you know it, it is what it is. Um, just the way they like they let everything just fall off in shadow and um, I will say like critique I, I do have of the movie like aside from this monologue which is it's okay and think just because she's a good <laughs> actress, um, the dialogue in this movie is very it falls pretty flat. Mm. Is it like the um, what was that movie that we, the one with the witches, the Love Witch? Yeah, is it like not that as, dialogue? My God, no, uh, not as bad as that. The Love Witch is its own thing. <laughs> that's an that's another movie. That's yeah, the that, artsy that, fartsy movie. Took exactly, some, it's one took of those some swings. And it, 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 I can see a parallel between this one and uh, the Love Witch. If that movie had Nick Cage, it would have been way better. Oh my God, as the Love Witch, don't change a <laughs> thing. But cast him as the love witch, I would watch the hell out of that. I want him to be the boyfriend that gets all like raged up by the, the sex juice. I mean, that could work too, but no, love witch all the way for me. Love witch all the way. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. I just find like the writing is it falls a little flat for me in like in the dialogue scenes. Mm. Um, I saw some, like, in the behind the scenes, there's a few excerpts of the script, and it seemed like the scene description is very, like, uh, wordy in, in the sense that, like, they do a good, he does a good job of describing what, What's he, wants, happening, right? what he wants to go on. Which, but the dialogue itself. Which, which, which again, makes me think. Blocky. You, no, it just makes me think, like, oh, okay, like, some of the vision's there, but maybe, like, if it was, if it was right, anyone okay. else but these good actors he has, it would fall f really flat. It would just feel like a home video of like someone just trying too hard. It would feel really independent. <laughs> like, right. like she is really good. Like she's been in other British stuff. I've never seen her before. Uh, uh, what's her name? Andrea. Andrea Riseborough. That's her. Yeah, man. She does not look at all like like she does in this yeah, movie. Birdman and all. Oh no, yeah, Birdman and um, Birdman. So, but yeah, she uh, she's great. In this, and then obviously Nick Cage, and the guy who plays the bad guy in the film Jeremiah, who we have not yet met. Oh, thanks, thanks for ruining it. Now I know we haven't met him. Uh, Lioness Roach. So this is like some drugstore heavy metal like uh, book book that she has, mm -hmm. and. Uh, yeah, so Lioness Roach, who you know from uh, the Batman movies, apparently. Wait, he's Thomas Wayne in the Batman movies. That's who he is. Like, the, like he barely has a scene. Yeah. <laughs> um, he's got like two lines. All right. I was, do you like that actor? What? That Lioness Roach guy. I, I mean, I only saw him and that for like two lines it was never memorable if that's well, what you're asking you're gonna get to know him a lot better in this movie <laughs> biblically biblically uh well i get to know him biblically adam that's what i want to know yeah a bit of that oh a little bit of that we, we talking rosemary's baby here biblically that's a weird movie i, I, uh, I cannot get into that one i didn't know until i just read it there that it, that it was the same guy 
So they they did they do a bit of a good job of combining or uh, hiding the fact that it's that guy. I mean, then again, you're saying that's the guy that played Wayne, uh, Tom- Thomas Wayne, right? Yeah. In the the Nolan. Versions. Yeah, like he's barely in that movie, man. It's and like the a first small one he's role. In. Okay, so this scene is really fucking weird. Okay, here we go. So um, expect me to probably freak out at it. Um, is it like the Love Witch freakouts that I used to have? I still, <laughs> I, I still have nightmares of those. Why just you... of your own freakouts. Yeah, just my own freakouts. Um, so she's so, so, walking down this road. Yeah. It's got now. This is this huge a dream tin. or is this real? This is real. See, it's confusing. You'd think like the different colors would tell you like, oh, when it's a color. It's different, like it's a dream or so it's a sequence. This ominous music starts playing. She's noticing something. Uh oh, what is she seeing? But it's all cast in red, like it's blood red. It's it's as though it's being lit by brake lights. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, it is. And out of the smoke comes, comes these two almost looks like eyes, but then you see it's a van. Oh, I thought it was a car backing up. <laughs> I thought that's exactly what you were mentioning, like the car. I was like, man, that's a lot of light. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's an open. And then van. so we see these people that are in this uh, this van. Oh, who are these and, people? And we're meeting the villains of the film for the first time. Man, now we know they're villains. It's not like the light and the music like threw it off at all. <laughs> um, I feel like... This guy is so derpy. <laughs> I feel Hi, like, you guys. Oh, no, that guy's... And the guy what from Big Green. On? Never seen Big Green? Mm, don't think so. Uh, so this is not really explained in the movie, but it's, it's sort <laughs> You're of... You're just supposed to know? It's sort of uh, talked about after. Okay, so you got to watch this. So okay. it's his Here character. He's noticing go. her. This is only after watching it and reading breakdowns after that you're like... All right, let's see if I can get this. All right. All right, so he's w- looking... He looks at her as, like, this is the weirdest look I've ever seen. Yeah, okay, yeah. Why do they keep repeating it, Adam? I don't know. Isn't that fucked? It's creepy. Yeah. All right, I, I didn't catch that. What did I miss? So he's, like, he's what watching the? her. Children of the New Dawn? Yeah, so it's that. Oh, those... you know what? Let me guess. Let me guess. These are the titles of those books. No. No? No, they're just titles. You sure? Yeah. Or are they like the names of the chapter? It's the it's like this cult that they're in. But maybe that's the name of the chapters that like every chapter is a, mm, a different Maybe. Thing. Maybe that would make sense. Maybe. Yeah, it's 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 very odd. Okay, so what did I miss then, Adam? What what have been people been discussing about that look that happens? It's just him noticing her to become obsessed with her. That's it? That's all it was. He just gets obsessed with her now? Yeah, he just becomes obsessed with her. Creepy. And then, like, the scene is sort of disorienting, I find, because he's he's laying down. Yeah. I don't know if it just I found it disorienting because I had to watch it in well, the first row of the theater. But Why is he lying down? It, it reminds me of the scene from Kung Pao. <laughs> what scene? Where he's rubbing the breast. And the guy's like, <laughs> No, down. it's good for both of us. <laughs> that scene. No. Like, why why is he think, laying down? I think it's to show power like he's... The one in control. Right. And she's at his side kind of thing. Um, he's talking about her, the one he saw. Yeah, feel naked without her yeah. naked. He's talking about this random woman that he saw on the side of the road. Yeah. It, ooh, it's creepy. So he's... It's weird. He's, um, he's like the leader of their little cult. Yeah, his name is Jeremiah. Of but course they're like. They're supposed to be Jesus-y freaks, but it doesn't come off as Jesus-y in my mind. It comes, it comes off, off as, as culty, Satan-y. Uh, yeah. Although, funny enough, Satan-y isn't exactly what you think of, right? This might be movie satan but like real life sat- sa- They're sa- fucking Satanist. nerds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what I mean? Like, they, like it's, a, it's a completely different... Uh, uh, it's not like at what it's portrayed to be in the movies. Brother Swan. Um, so this guy. What the hell is going on? Yeah. I also feel like he is trying to out Nicolas Cage. Nicolas yeah. Cage in this movie. Uh, which Nicolas Cage is like, oh, that's cool. 
What does it look like? You know what he looks like? He looks like young um, Christopher... Guy from Highlander. Oh, uh... French guy. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. I don't know who you... There can be only one. <laughs> look um, at him, like, with the hair and everything. Looks like him. Are they... This is, like... It's very weird. Why are they so close to each other? Um, my friend that I saw it with, he's like, this is a very weirdly sexual movie. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're always so close to each other, and he's lying down. Why are they whispering? I don't know. It's I weird. think it makes it more creepy if they it whisper. It does. Let's make a whole movie where everyone's whispering. Sorry, just the main character's whispering, but no one else in the world is. Mm. And see what happens. Like, no one thinks it's weird either. Yeah. I need to talk to you. So every time there's some type of, I guess, weird thing, semi mythical thing, it comes out like this. Different color? In this green strobe light. This is really? just happening in the scene right now. What do you mean this is happening in the scene? This is like happening right now. So the. What? No. What? <laughs> no. What? But it's yeah, red. Look, it's in his hand. But what? What? No. No, not Porkins. <laughs> they want to like sacrifice the fat guy. Yeah. Like the 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 kid from Jesus. What was that? That was me. Uh, that was my bad. He he looks like the kid from uh, Bad Santa. No, he look. Oh, they all grown up. It yeah. could be that guy. I wonder. Well, if I've seen I've seen him in Bad Santa too. So that's what he looks like. All grown up, almost exactly identical. But like that's what they make him look out to look like. It's weird. It is, yeah. Like already, this movie is only like twenty minutes in, and like I already feel like it's very sexual. And all we've had is an encounter between these an old guys, lady really. and him, and then this other old man. Like, why is he lying down? It's weird. <laughs> why does this scene have to be like this? Again, like thinking about it now, I think it's like power structure. Like he's like the he's king laying down. <laughs> he could be lazy. He's just lazy. He just he likes lying down. Um. So yeah, Maybe it's very sick. awkward. It also it kind of builds tension that way too, in a way, you know. Yeah, but weird tension, not tension I want in a movie. Like I'm too tense now. <laughs> <laughs> like, this scene should not have been as tense as it was. And then so he sends in this like young girl to like I don't know do him, I guess. Well, I guess that's why he was lying down the whole time. He was just getting ready. Yeah. See, I don't know where this is supposed to be either. That's, this cabin right there. Yeah. This gas station. No, this is... The gas station <laughs> is like something different. You sure? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, she's reading the book. She's already read this book. Like, she's already there. I've seen that chap... Like, the freaking thing. It's the same exact thing. Like, I, I'm not wrong. I swear to God, that's the, it's the exact same place where she was last time. Really? I'm pr Like, the beginning starts with the train, the train, so it's the, the same train. page? I'm pretty sure it's the same exact page. Oh, weird. I'm going to look out for that again. So, like... I she, could be wrong. She's coming to, like, visit the cult thing. I didn't put two and two together in the theater that it was the same woman from before at this gas station scene. Really? Yeah. Again, like, I saw this in the front row. So, when you see it, like, with your right. neck craned up... Now, you saw this in the front row because, like, the place was sold out? Well, when you arrive fucking 20 minutes into the movie... <laughs> Sure, sure, but I went to see the Predator yesterday, and there was three other people. Yeah, I don't you'd know. think Mandy I would think have less of an audience. This was the only; it was the only place playing it in town. So, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, and back to the book. Oh, Same. that was your butt. Yeah, and it stinks. Oh, fuck you. Fuck yeah, you. we're enclosed in this place now. You, you're stuck with me now, boy. If my voice sounds a little different, it's because I'm wearing a shirt over my face. <laughs> oh, part. crap. I can't drink my drink through the shirt. Get a oh! straw. <laughs> Get a straw. Poke a little hole. Oh, I'm going to be looking out for that page now, all right? <laughs> I don't think that book comes up again. Damn it. Okay, so... Here we go. Next weird part. This whole thing <laughs> is a weird part. What do you mean the next weird part? <laughs> 
So again, like looking at the edge of frame, again that flare. Yeah, the in, flare comes in, which or, is like or a maybe look. I kind of like that look. I like and, and like I've personally done that a lot. Yeah, past. yeah, but you've also done that in that in the aspect, and then realized shit. Maybe the light was too close. No, I, I, that's what it seems like to me. No, nah, I've done it a lot where I like I do it to. If you saw this in IMAX, you just see the whole light. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is so derpy. Look at his face. Yeah, he is kind of derpy looking. I don't know if that's how this guy looks in real life. Probably. You're making or, fun of this man. I don't know. He doesn't know me. <laughs> looks like... Okay. Uh, all right, here we go. He's he's looking. So... He's looking. He's, what he's, he's looking he off doing? into the distance. Yeah. They're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, middle of, I thought he was going to go pee or something. He's going to go take a shit. That's what you got to do with your butt. That's what I do every day. No, oh. seriously. Why is he just... Waiting again. This movie, okay. This movie is has a lot pee, of right, like long what? takes. Oh, of oh stuff. the rock, the 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 green rock. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Why am I expecting him to do the uh, <laughs> Kikuro Forest? <laughs> Just starts doing like Zelda, uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time I music. Know. I don't know that, but it does look the the Zelda flute. That's it. It actually works, eh? That flute, you can buy one. The yeah, Zelda I flute. know you can buy. It. See, what is? Is he calling up like the demons? Yeah, sort of. Is he actually? <laughs> yeah. It's time, boys. It's time to go to work. It's an action movie from now on. <laughs> Um, now we're talking it's done so like the pacing of this movie is something that really bothers me it's and crazy. like it's like hurry up yeah I'm why like, does it take you so long to get into this like, car I thought, like a good eight to ten minutes could have been cut of this movie yeah it's like a ghost story man you gotta watch a ghost story it's just pacing is off yeah this woman eats a pie for five minutes like straight up real time real talk real i don't like it so this guy rolling down the this window got a dirty. huge laugh in the theater. <laughs> Why? Because he just keeps doing it. Watch. Are they just waiting? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? And so there's stuff in this movie where, like, I think this was supposed to be sort of funny. Right. But I got a pretty big laugh in the theater because the tension was so high. Yeah. But there's stuff in this movie that that gets like huge laughs, where it probably shouldn't have. Where I don't know, man. Like, like I don't know if it's this supposed movie to be... is this movie critically acclaimed, dude. It got a standing ovation at Cannes. Coms. Are you serious? Yeah, it was a, it was a huge festival hit, allegedly. Whoa! According to their behind the scenes, so who knows? Seriously, it looks like the kid from Bad Santa. I don't know. Let me look it up. It's not. I know 100% it's not. He just looks like him. Like, to me, it looks like the guy from fucking you? The Big Green or that Fat Camp movie. Oh, we're seeing something, but we can't see what it is. Oh, it's more cars. It's ATVs. Yeah. Wait, it is ATVs. Yeah. Oh, it is ATVs. <laughs> I was just, I thought it was, they were trying to do something else. No, I guess, I guess not. So you're saying like these people were just waiting in the forest for like, like the, the 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 rock sound flute thing to to call. They're all dressed like they're from Hellraiser, or they're on their way to a like S and M Judas Priest concert. I was thinking more like they're going to a. Uh, oh my god, what's that? What's that thing that happens in the desert? Burning Man. Burning Man. They're going to a Burning Man. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> with the ATVs and everything. So Weird. yeah, so they show up. And this guy's like, holy shit, it's the fucking guys from the motorcycles. Oh my God, what is going on? Are these like monsters? What uh, the? Their origin what is the? sort of explained later in the movie. Okay, so these are, are these human? Yeah. yeah yes, no. Are they from I the Mad they, Max they, universe? They are. <laughs> yeah, right. They look really Mad Max. <laughs> they come like chrome. So... They get out, and uh, I'm 
Like I, I'm like speechless right now because I have no idea what to talk about because <laughs> things are happening. He looks so like uh, he looks like uh, the Scarecrow. Yeah. I don't oh know. my God! This is a Batman spinoff. <laughs> this whole thing is actually Scarecrow's. Uh, he actually just poisoned like a town. Yeah. And that's all it is. So they offer up this jar of goo, which. Delicious. I think it's drugs of some kind. Or blood? No, it's definitely goo. How do you know it's goo? Everything's red. And then he just downs it. Ugh. And uh, you're like, all right. <laughs> all right, I'm uh, all right. He's going to down this uh, ooze and I he's going to he turn into a TMNT. Thirsty, hungry kind of guy. And then he's going to sacrifice porkins. Yeah. Poor Porkins. You know what? That that's that that's the one Star Wars story that I want to see. Porkins Revenge. Porkins Revenge. <laughs> Porkin, you, Porkins Lunch. Porkins Lunch. A Star Wars story. So I think the idea is they make a deal with uh these monsters. These monster guys to uh kidnap her. I mean, I feel like you don't need to. You could probably just break in and kidnap her on your own. Where would the fun be in that? You're right. There wouldn't be a movie, right? It would just be like Fargo. Yeah. Um, I've heard that uh, Nick Cage w- wasn't on set for very long for this movie. Really? Yeah. So like, I mean, it's it. I mean, I can see it right now. He filmed all of those in like a day. Yeah. So I, I don't know for sure how long he was on set, but like a few YouTube comments have said like only a weekend. I think it had to be longer than that, honestly. Just I mean, isn't he the main character? <laughs> he is, but like he's still like you could see how they're using stunt doubles and like spending like time just getting his close ups and getting all his performances and then going back and shooting other people's right, stuff. Right, right, right. How right, you could right. piece it together if you only had him for like, sure, yeah, you'd get all the alone stuff, then you, or maybe you get them both together, and then you get all alone stuff, and then anytime you need like his shoulder or his weird hair, you just get shoulder weird hair stunt double. Exactly. Yeah, makes sense. There's like a, a whole thing of uh, doppelganger um, people. So like, I, I've one of the commentaries of uh, of a movie. It was um, who is it? I forget, but anyway, so it was uh, this actor, like famous actor, and they could only have him for so many amount of days. Okay. So in in um, it's in the like, warriors in wide shots, like walking away shots or over the shoulder shots, they just use this guy that looks like this famous guy. So if he's out of focus or he's walking away in the background, you can get that shot of him, but. Now, is this the lights just going wonky, or is that actually happening? Like, yeah, I, I don't know. Again, everything's stylized and unmotivated. So this is like the rock thing again, right? Like strobe lights, everything. The rock, like the movie yeah. The Rock. No, I meant like the flute rock. Oh yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. It was like it was like green. What I are think, these things? <laughs> I think it's how you make this scene sort of scary. But I didn't find this movie that scary, honestly. Well, I'm scared. <laughs> Um, so they grab them. Like, I feel like you wouldn't need these guys to do anything. I don't know. Okay. So they they have her. They have her now. Um, I will say too, like, I do love the music in this movie. Like, like, it feels like, uh, the, uh. Hey, it's the scene from Dark Knight. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it feels like the the Phantom of the Opera is the one playing this music right now. It's the Phantom of the Heavy Metal. This what scene the where he just gets pulled away it looks very silly to me. Yeah, I mean, you, you'd think he would have taken that guy before. Like yeah, not, not in the midst of like a kidnapping. It's just like, all right, I guess I'm going to take my money I now. Think, I think like this blood right now. I like, think like it was their deal. Like, oh, you only get this fucking weird blonde haired kid after the fact. Maybe. So they did they alter the deal? 
<laughs> I'm altering the deal. All right, so be happy. That's the old lady. It's the old lady. But, but why? Doesn't explain why. They better explain why. This is Fargo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you betcha. Oh, yeah. As long as you put the lotion, the lotion in the basket. What's the lotion in the basket? This old lady looks like damn. she won't offer you a poison apple. Oh, man. Yeah, don't eat apples from her. Imagine if she actually sells fruit like on the side of the road. She'd have a terrible business. Would you like this apple? No, thank you. <laughs> How about this carrot? How about this apple pie I made? <laughs> 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 Grandma, can you just stop like crackling like that? You're really scaring away the. I can't. I had a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> so he gives her. She gives her this eyedropper thing, which I think is LSD. I'm not sure, like, if you can take LSD via eyedropper, but I don't know. Eyedropper in oh, the eye. Ew. And then she takes them. So like, probably. I LSD? think. And then it's actually LCD. It's for the eyes, Adam. I think this Ew. wasp thing is Ugh. is also a delivery method for the LSD or something. What? Why is that thing so big? I what the know. hell is going on? I don't know how they did this because I think uh, ah gross. And, uh, it's like a bee wasp. It's like gigantic. It's like the size of my hand. I think that's how. Is that from like Jumanji? <laughs> I think they give her drugs. Is what they're giving her. Um. So yeah, they so. sting her with a bee and give her drugs. <laughs> like it's like at any college party, really. <laughs> so then this uh, this sequence gets. Really fucked up. Oh, as opposed to the movie we've been watching? Yeah. Um, <laughs> watching this movie the first time, I, I said, like, it is like watching almost two movies. Like, it's two separate movies. Right. And I'll, I'll like, I'll tell you when the first movie ends. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it goes from, like, weird culty movie to Evil Dead. Uh, a little bit. Yeah. So this goes into this, like red purple party kind of thing <laughs> this phased out thing it just cuts to them like on the bed with like pillows like <laughs> what is this movie adam what are we watching right now oh yeah then you know this is the uh triple x version of mandy <laughs> <laughs> mandy triple x it's like oh my god adam oh we should do that what we should review porn, porn. <laughs> <laughs> Please send us comments on how you want to watch us re review porn. <laughs> no, that'd be terrible. It's like, all right, this week we're reviewing, uh, I don't know, girl takes it in the ass six My times. God. Then. I don't know. They don't name it like that. Okay, you got to be like, you got to be more like punny with the names, you know? Horny bitch sucks dick. No. <laughs> You'd be terrible. You don't name porns from now on, okay? You're, yeah, you're banned. Okay, okay I'm porn. the one who's naming porn out there. Yeah, stop. That's what I'm saying. Don't do that. So there's this like really long monologue about by, how they saw her on by the Batman's road. dad here. And again, <laughs> Batman's dad. Yeah. Now that I know it's fucking Bruce Wayne, I'm like Tom Wayne. Oh. Yeah, I'm like, oh man, I'm glad that guy shot you in that alley. <laughs> <laughs> This is what would have happened if he didn't. <laughs> yeah, this is, this this is what Batman's spin, dad would have yeah, become. It's a Batman spinoff of a, a what if. Yeah, I mean, you've seen the Flashpoint. This is a sla this is Flashpoint 2.0. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of uh, of uh, Martha Wayne becoming the Joker, um, he, he just becomes really fucked up. He starts a cult. He becomes <laughs> Charles Manson. <laughs> oh my god! Apparently, that's where they the motivation. 
Helter was for Skelter. This, was for that character. I can kind of see it. Don't drink the Kool Aid. So again, to speak about the kind of I don't know dialogue that I feel is this is uh, not er, the best. This is uh, Scientology circa nineteen seventy eight. 83 uh but yeah so this is a long monologue this guy has and i don't know like i can't tell you anything it's about <laughs> having watched it twice now i can't tell you well he talks about someone to express love in many ways so is he talking about like a sort of deity some, i think it's supposed to be jesus God? jesus um this is not this is not what jesus would want what would jesus do and he would not do this let alone this movie. Um, which I thought that line is funny. Yeah, because he loves Jesus. Get it? The carpenters? <laughs> because Jesus was a carpenter. I know. Get it? See so, ya. Yeah. Oh, the so dialogue. Many layers. <laughs> the dialogue in this movie is like, I don't know, like, not that great, but like, this scene feels like they're trying to hide. This terrible dialogue. <laughs> terrible dialogue was hidden by you You not knowing what the hell's going on. You're like, this must be smart. Um, I didn't follow either <laughs> that I don't think, I don't think that this record is um, The Carpenters. I'm pretty sure this is his music that he made. It's about the start was what is what it was called, wasn't it? I don't know anything about The Carpenters, so... He wants to take her as a wife. Yeah. You so know, this feels uh, like it feels like Manos, Hands of Fate. I've never seen that. Should. It's a classic. Yeah. yeah. It's got goat people. Goat it's not, people. It's eh? not true. There's a guy dressed as a satyr. Yeah. He wears the suit upside down, so he walks weird. It's a weird movie. Um, so he's like super into his own like music. Yeah. Which, you like uh, my music. Like, I wrote it after my son Wayne died, <laughs> but Bruce died. Um, the alternate universe where Bruce dies in the alley. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, isn't that Flashpoint? Um, yeah, for yeah. sure. Um, so then he's like, got to tell her all about it. And like that guy, that drug dealer from back in the day would make you like listen to his stuff or like look at his shit. Like, I, you know? I, I wouldn't know. <laughs> I only know from experience. Oh, wait. <laughs> right, right, right. I know from I mean, movies. What I mean, what? from friends that have told that have sold me the drugs. I mean, <laughs> from friends that have told me about the drugs that they bought and gave me. I mean, see the bottom of the pit. He's the one at the pit, not not Bruce. He fell in the pit. He fell down into the well. What happens, Bruce, when we fall down? We get up and become a cult. Um, okay, so if you watch this, mm -hmm. they hold on his face for like uh, an awkwardly long time. Yeah, it, like especially as like, you but, can't see his pupil or anything. It's yeah, just like all black. But if you watch close. Okay, here we go. It's hot, loving light. It's creepy. Like I like when people look directly into the camera, is like it okay, gives you, you see an it? odd feeling. You see it? You see his it? face is turning into hers. Yeah, they like sort of like meld between them, kind of seamlessly. Of it's like cool, what's eh? her, what she's seeing, like her reaction versus then, what. Yeah, it's like they're overlaying, but they're like they're using like uh, they're warping the frame a bit, like just so like everything lines up, like the corners of the eyes, nose, mouth, and everything sort of line it's, up perfectly. It, 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 it's creepy, and I've never de seen it done. It's it's an interesting thing to do it is um so again this whole this whole fucking long monologue scene this guy has this guy does a great job of delivering it right but he's like he might as well just be reading the phone book like it doesn't matter like <laughs> like they throw so much effects on it throw much uh voice stuff on it that you're just like a a aronson it, yeah it just doesn't, I don't know, it just doesn't affect anything. It feels like there's there's a lot of pieces of this where I'm like, okay, are you doing that to be creative or is this like a creative choice or is this a editing choice where you're like, 
oh fuck, we only this movie's only forty five minutes long. Right, right, right. <laughs> like your first movie. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get that stock footage, Adam? The internet. <laughs> I like again. I know that from experience. Yeah, like, experience. Like, well, I guess thing. we can hold on that shot at an extra longer <laughs> time than we're supposed to. Exactly. Uh, okay. So now, if you're like, yeah, I kind of like Batman. I wonder what this actor is like in real life. Um, you you watch this scene and then you're like, oh, ooh, he's been he's like he he just he <laughs> wears women clothing is what he means he wears women's skin oh 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 he's like ed gein um also didn't realize this is all taking place in her house oh my god i never noticed that either yeah i, I thought they were at their like place you're no, right this yeah is her house everything just looks creepy everything looks <laughs> frigged <laughs> well it's also the fact that like you know everything's reddish purplish yeah. Orange It's got this like 3D yeah. vibe to it. Oh. And wait for it. And you have to see his dick. Straight up You gotta penis. see Batman's dad's dick. Straight up peanut. He is not circumcised. Let me tell you. He's a Yoda, not a Darth Vader. He doesn't have a head? Yeah, I don't know. Like it's either the, it's either the Darth Vader helmet or it's the Yoda head. Is that a is that a thing in the penis community? <laughs> <laughs> Watch. And if it wasn't bad enough, he massages the area around his dick. Oh. Does so he, you're like Does he get aroused? That would be super weird. I was waiting for him to get a boner. Right? But it didn't happen. Right? Exactly. She just laughs at him. Which... Oh, her name is Mandy. <laughs> <laughs> I just caught that. And then she laughs at him because like she's like, You wrote this song? You, you have like, a small penis. And then she's like, your dick is weird. It's yeah, it's a oh now he's just playing with himself. I'm surprised they don't show him playing with himself. It just cut, cuts like a fake like plastic penis. <laughs> Why? That is the creepiest laugh right? I've ever seen in my life. My God. Well, then again, she's like drugged, right? But like, gee. This is weird, Adam. Right? Isn't that strange? It's like a, it's like a, like laughing at you. I don't know. It's a weird laugh. You can't even really describe it. And then you were like, wait a minute. Was it Nicolas Cage in this movie? <laughs> <laughs> he has tattoos. Yeah, man, he's got a lot of tattoos. Um, like those are real. Is that a T Rex? Is that a wolf? He's got a big like um, dragon Luke thing? Cage tattoo on he's his. He's got back. a Luke Cage tattoo. Yeah, that's where he took his name because his, his last name's Coppola, right? Yo, I know that. But he changed the Cage because he loved fucking comic books so much. Uh, I mean, I knew he was a Superman fan. His son is named Kal El. Kal El. Yeah. Yeah, he was gonna be Superman. Have you ever I seen know. the photos of him? I want to see that Tim Burton weird hair Superman. He looked like it's Bizarro. The, it's the death of Superman lives. Kevin Smith wrote the script, eh? It, it's definitely one of those uh, what ifs. There. I would have really wanted to Did see that watch kind the, of movie. The documentary. I have no. No, it's a pretty good documentary. Yeah, this documentary about how it failed and everything. <laughs> kind of like uh, Joe Dorsky's Dune. Uh, no, maybe I don't know. I never seen that. It's a good documentary. It's about like the Dune that never was, oh, starring really? uh, Salvador Dali. Really? <laughs> yeah. Crazy. <laughs> it would have been a weird ass movie, man. So he's all like doubting himself, then he's all like, and then back Maybe to I don't Nicolas Cage. Myself. Meanwhile, meanwhile at the Hall of Justice, <laughs> so they come out. So he is Christian or whatever, because he's wearing the cross. Yeah, a lot of people wear crosses. Yeah, um, a lot of effed up people wear crosses. And use it's crosses. Not, it's not okay. What? <laughs> what does he have in his mouth? It just looks like, like barbed branches. wire. I know, right? But like... It's just like all the non-prickly it parts of it. It seems like a weird thing to like to stick someone in was like, is like this wired thing around his mouth. I don't know. You always just see what is happening. Uh, he's like, do you want to see what love is? And then so uh, what is going on? 
You know, I don't care who you are. If you're a leader, you don't want to kill like your followers. That just seems like a bad idea. Yeah, I don't know either, dude. But so he's tied up in barbed wire, which yeah. you're like, that's got to suck. Damn, Batman's dad. Damn. Yeah. And she's like, oh, crap. I should have stayed <laughs> in Kansas. I knew I should have stayed home today. <laughs> <laughs> With the frizz, no way. <laughs> Whoo! No, sh- no again. Phew. Do it six more times. <laughs> and, I mean, uh, how silly would he have looked that she died? Then, you, like, if you think about, it, you're like, oh, man, but I needed her later. <laughs> like, whatever, whatever, I'll get over it. But man, like, see how much, see what you did to me. Um, it's all your fault. So, here's another example of. <laughs> that's like this is like where i feel like it switches to a different movie yeah soon. Y- 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 steaming pile of excrement human excrement again the dialogue in this movie so strange okay now watch this is where another mythical item gets handed to somebody <clears throat> poor stupid pigs what? what yeah what are you talking about Again, yeah, like, I don't know, like, I thought I'm missing, see, look. What is going on? Why? It just looks like a giant uh, throwing knife with an eye. You know what? It's something from, like, uh, Soul Calibur. Oh, yeah? Is that the giant eye? Never played it, but. Ah, you're missing out. Take your word for it. (laughs) Jesus was nice. Isn't that the whole point, though? Like, Jesus' big mistake is... Oh, let me guess. Nicolas Cage is going to be... Because, like, that's the spear, right? So, like, Nicolas Cage is going to be the Christ figure in this movie? Mm, no. With a chainsaw? No. So, the chemist... This is one line that's thrown away, and you meet a guy later who's supposed to be this chemist guy. Is it like the same guy from uh, Pulp Fiction? Mm. Uh, what was his name? The guy, the cleaner up guy. No. <laughs> it's not, it's not Harvey Keitel. No. The wolf? <laughs> that's what it is. It's the wolf. Uh, okay. So now um, they're, uh, the sinister music yeah. happens again. She Which, like, it? everything's super unmotivated right now. It's all of a sudden red and smoky in there. Yeah. Oh, um, So they got her in a bag now. And uh, they're bringing her outside. As you do. So they, I don't know, he hates her now. He was obsessed with her, and now he's like, fuck Did this Did he bitch. kill her? She's, I think she's still alive in the bag. So, okay, so let me get this straight, right? He sees her on the side of the road. He's like, whoa, I must have this lady. And he then... He feels naked without her. Right, he feels naked without her. Right, 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 right. And so he decides to send off his minion. And then to... But first giving him the, the super the, secret the, yeah, Zelda the super horn. Great, yeah, the, he gives him the Ocarina rock. Yep. And then this guy goes into the forest, does the rock, and then people with ATVs come out and they're monsters. Yeah. And then he's like, "Okay, you can you can go you can help us kidnap this lady. And if you help us kidnap this lady, we're going to give you this fat guy." So then they're like, yep. "Oh, okay." So then <laughs> <laughs> So then in the middle of the night, they just break in, which I mean, anybody could have done anyways, and kidnap this lady and tie up Nicolas Cage. And then they get this lady high or whatever with like a giant wasp. Uh, and then, LSD eyedropper. Well, whatever. I'm, I'm making it worse, this, okay? The bees! The bees! They're in my eyes! Covered in bees! And, and so then he has a speech. We're not really sure about what. And then he shows his penis. And then she laughs Before really scarily. Before telling him 
before telling her about his super sweet band. Right, yeah. And then she laughs. And then it cuts to Nicolas Cage that we had forgotten about. And then they he says something to Nicolas Cage, takes out a knife, stabs him, and then takes up Mandy in a bag and burns her. Did I get that right? Yep. So uh, we're coming up on the end of Act 1. <laughs> That's a silly line. The, the darker, darker the whore. The brighter the, the brighter flame. The brighter the flame. I should, I, I'm going to use that. Yeah. That, that, <laughs> that could be really bad. So the movie's about this guy's girlfriend and then they kill her and then it's just like a revenge story now, right? Basically. Cool. Like the plot I'm down for that. The plot is basically is very basic. Like of just Cult right. kill girlfriend, he wants kill cult. <laughs> this guy. This guy. And okay, they hold on this for so long. <laughs> and this guy being like bruh, bruh, bruh. <laughs> I don't know if that guy <laughs> has Men- is like mentally disabled or not, or if he's just stupid looking. I mean, they all look like everybody's reaction down. in this is like, it's ah, yay, whoa. And then well, the other guy have, licking his teeth, like, they all have a different reaction. <laughs> I still have some barbecue sauce on the top of my mouth. Mm. And, he, and he's, you know, he's he's wearing too much eyeliner and crying. He looks like Sebastian Bach. And and Alice Cooper or something <laughs> oh like, my God. like he just went, he, yes. he just went to like a concert and like they played his favorite song and he <laughs> cried and now he's like, oh, nothing will ever be this cool, man. I mean, it seems like such a, a simple story that has, has, uh, really gotten complicated. So this director, like finds that plot and story are kind of, he doesn't like plot and story, like having a good plot or having a good like story. He doesn't believe in that? No, he just believes in... The, How do you know? Like this is what he said in interviews? He doesn't yeah. believe in plot or story? No, not that he doesn't believe in it. He just doesn't he doesn't like it, but he likes what he finds interesting is the delivery method of the plot. Whether or not that makes sense. What? Yeah. You can't like one without the other. It is one with the other. Yeah, I know. So. What does that mean? <laughs> what does it all mean, Basil? <laughs> it means, Austin. Uh, right. That's the guy from Logan's Run, eh? The guy who plays Basil Expo- Exposition. I always know him from the guy from Austin Powers. Yeah, but he's in Logan's Run. I've which only is... ever seen him other than Austin Powers. I haven't seen Logan's Run, but. It's uh, actually. It's pretty good, like, futuristic sort of movie. Is it, like, Soylent Green? Uh, it's, like, the little bit more happy version of THX 1138. Interesting. And, uh, but, like, some things in the movie that they predicted about the future, like, it's, like, uh, this version of Tinder. And, like, he's swiping. Really? Yeah, he's swiping <laughs> through this thing. And it's, like, he finds this girl. He's, like, oh, yeah, I like to fuck her. But then she just boom, shows up at his place. Yeah, no, that sounds about right. That, that's but like through Tinder. a teleporter. I mean, that's just Tinder in like two years. It's like Tinder and Uber <laughs> kind of <laughs> it, <laughs> melded it's together. Tinder Star Trek. If anything, beam tin- me up, Scotty. Tinder and Uber should become one company. Like if you hook up, it's like order Uber now to this address. Wow. I mean, I don't, I don't think you've been to Tinder. You wouldn't want that. No. No. That's that's, that's called being killed and murdered. I don't know. But then again, then Uber, it's its really at Uber's fault, right? They brought you to the address. They'd have to have like a, like a liability cause or something. Yeah, you just click agree. <laughs> We've, did we just invent a new business? Yup. <laughs> Watch out. Next year, we're going to be millionaires I'd or be happy sued. With, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'd be happy with just being a thousandaire. True. I could, I could use a thousand dollars. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's that must hurt so much slipping through. I, I feel like you would die. Wire. I feel like, like, oh, if your wrists were God. cut like that, uh, I'm surprised you didn't cut like an artery or like, yeah, like I feel cut like a you'd vein. Be dead. Also, being stabbed in oh, the gut. God, that looks gross. Ugh. Ugh. I mean, it's just the fact that his mouth has barbed wire around it is just 
Like it just like all yeah, I'm which thinking way of do is, you go with the wire? Because you can't go down because well, then it'll be around your neck. That's the thing. And but the other thing is too is just like how 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 must his teeth hurt? That's that's all I worry about is Nick Cage's teeth. <laughs> oh man, she burnt literally to a crisp. Yeah, I feel like the level at which she is burnt. Yeah, you ever you ever under. toss something in a fire and like you're always like putting it back into the fire because it I won't got, burn properly. I got chicken bones that are in my barbecue yeah, that I know. Are still aren't that done. That's what I'm saying. You're saying burning it one because it, it'll fall, right? The, the 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 fire will burn through the court. It would have fell on the ground and already taken out some of the fire. There's no way it would have just done this tiny little pile. And is that her head? Yeah. No. No, 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 no. No. No, I don't think so. Inaccurate. I know this is inaccurate. Morbid. I know this is morbid, but like watching World War II documentaries and seeing some Auschwitz like footage, they're not even that burned up oh, there. Oh, Adam. No, I'm just saying. Adam. I know. I'm no. It's morbid. Whoa. I'm not trying to make a joke. I'm just saying. You're just trying to say like that's yeah. real life. That's yeah. Yeah. The accuracy is just. Yeah, it's definitely Hollywood. Yeah. Like let's. It's not burn. even Hollywood. It, this is kind of an independent deal. Sorry, sorry. It's it's it's. Well, sort of. I guess if you have Elijah Wood as your bank. You know, it's not really that independent, but I mean, Elijah Wood doesn't do big movies, though. <laughs> I'm just saying he does a lot of indie indie movies. Now he does. Yeah, but when he did this movie, he obviously does indie movie. Like he's not even he's not a very bankable. There is star. a movie apparently with Elijah Wood and Nick Cage. Is there? Which I, I would the, love to see. I saw the one with the piano, which mm-hmm. was actually I, I enjoyed. Nick Cage it. or Elijah Wood? No, Elijah Wood. He plays like this like super piano genius and then it's like it's it's from the, the people that made buried okay. oh man i forgot he's in his underwear that just seems silly to me <laughs> just see nick cage's like white junk right crawling around man that thing is out there <laughs> is he wearing a sock in there jeez louise he's uh got he's a, a, he's a tiger <laughs> <laughs> ride the tiger you can see it's striped, but you know he's clean. <laughs> so you're okay. Yeah, I can see how like the first bit is like its own kind of artsy fartsy movie. And then now is kind this of... This becomes like almost... Okay, this commercial is also really funny. What the hell is a cheddar, go- cheddar goblin? I don't... I feel like they, 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 they had to think Again, of this... like the stupidest commercial possible. Is... <laughs> Ugh! What the hell? That is not a real commercial. Well, no, it's like one they made for. Dude, that was craft. No, it's like a craft looking box, but it's. Are you like, sure? Yeah. I, I saw craft. Oh, maybe they like. They, like, you just see it like just on the side a little bit. <laughs> this is very like Ghostbusters looking. Yeah. Why? Okay, never mind. But it does but look it, very. It's, like, it's clearly like a stolen it's off of craft. Good. So, yeah, this is just random fucking commercial which makes no sense i feel like they just wanted to throw it in there right like yeah they had a a weird idea and now it's in the emergency broadcast system they're always on channel 13 i thought channel 13 had nothing in canada it doesn't well no we saw it earlier it was just white noise now a commercial came wow back in the 80s like some stuff oh yeah and there's animation in the movie what there's cartoons is this like kill bill uh, no, it's more like heavy metal. Like it's very heavily right. influenced by heavy metal, like the movie heavy metal. No, I know what you're, I know, I know heavy metal. Ooh, sexy, gross. Colin, heavy metal noise. Uh, just the jaw and the maggots alone are weird. Okay. So he has this thing. Okay. This is my favorite scene in the whole movie. Is this the freak out? Yeah. Yes. So everything's dark. Okay. This is the brightest scene in the movie. Holy crap. And it's just one take. It looks like my like grandma's like bathroom. Yeah. All right, here we go. Yeah, it does seem like an odd thing, right? It doesn't seem it, it looks out of a, a Paul his... what's the name of that <laughs> the director for or uh the, the the guy that did like uh the the Tenenbaum. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um not Paul. Isn't it Paul something? Anderson something? Wait. Come on, drink. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Okay, he's drinking. He's oh, that would burn. That that's through your shirt, man. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he 
He's just screaming. He's just screaming. And chugging a bottle of vodka. Just getting worse and worse. <laughs> now he's sitting on the toilet screaming. Screaming, crying. <laughs> That's weird. But you're right. Like, it, 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 just the... What? Man, he is going through that bottle. Does his throat hurt? Like, uh, why does he hold his throat like that? Well, if you're choked by barbed wire, your throat would hurt. He wasn't choked by barbed wire. It was, by, it was around his mouth, not his neck. I feel like he might... He was grabbed by that guy. Oh, maybe that's it. <laughs> Chuck some more. Come on. This is the best. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, how to get burned is pretty good, too. I mean, it's definitely in the top. It's definitely in the top freakouts. It's a weird freakout. Um, I forget who said it, but someone had mentioned Nick Cage's acting. And that it was it was something that like it, it's its own different type of acting, like a, they, they they called it something else. Like he has his own sort of method to acting. Like it's not like it's not normal acting. He's got his it's own, his like, own um, Nick Cage type of acting. Yeah, it's his own made up thing. Yeah, it's called. Um, You're familiar with it. It's something. Um, not nouveau. It's uh, no nouveau. Uh, I remembered it the other day. I'll look it up right now. But like, I feel like it wasn't as bad. Nouveau before. semantic. That's what it was. I feel like it wasn't this bad before. Like it's only okay. Like, so shows up at this guy's trailer. Yeah, we that we've never met. Who we haven't met, which I thought maybe he'd be in the beginning. Yeah, <laughs> he was not. He comes for his crossbow, which he left at that guy's place, which is called the Reaper. Yeah, which we didn't know was there. Yeah, this scene's sort of funny. And it's, and it's the guy from Predator, and yeah. he still like looks like he's ready to shave his head, being like, "I'm gonna have me some fun. I'm gonna <laughs> have me some fun." Ooh, a couple of arrows. <laughs> but who is this guy? We don't know. He just like he shows up. He just shows his... up at this random guy's trailer and says, "I need my Reaper." Takes out a crossbow. Always a cutaway to the dog. <laughs> Who is this guy? Jesus freaks. I mean, yeah, that's a good way to say it. <laughs> <laughs> like, imagine hearing that. Just like, tell me about him. Jesus freaks. Yeah, you're not making any sense. I love how at least one character acknowledges that it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Like, it doesn't make any sense. They just showed up and there's, like, monsters and... <laughs> this guy's like, like... This guy knows what it is? Black skulls? This guy looks like Martian Manhunter now, eh? Oh, my God. It's John Johns. Yeah, right? I don't know how to pronounce... Is that John Johns? I think so. But he could be Martian Manhunter, like with no makeup. <laughs> 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 I think his name was like Bill Duke or something like that. Yeah, Bill Burke? Duke. Duke. So this guy is like he knows about these these he's, monster. He's things. like trailer park exposition guy. Like gives him everything he almost he's everything. So he So random. And tells him everything he needs to know and everything he has to go do. So it's like these like. Yeah, weird shit demon things. And again, like, the dialogue... Yeah. <laughs> A manufacturer of LSD? What are we talking about now? So I think that's the weird goo. So they are human. Yeah, they're they human. They just, like, drink this weird LSD stuff. And they become not human. That's... See... It's it's weird hearing it from this random person that we've never met and like it doesn't explain how how he knows these things like whatsoever. There's a fly on his back. Yeah, I know. Which okay, like and so like I I'm like okay, well that's just this movie. 
And I'm like, is this just bad writing? And it's just like the movie is so stylistic and cool that I'm like, oh, I'll forgive it. You know what I mean? <laughs> or like, is it done on purpose? Like the and love it's sty- witch? <laughs> <laughs> we'll never, it's will we thing. ever know if it was done purposely? See, I, I feel like that's that's what you got to do, Adam. You got to make a movie look so stylized and so cool and so, so different, so vague and so over the top and so terribly written and just... So many weird things that people will expect or think that you did it purposely, and they'll so, love you for it. This is another part of the movie where you're like, they're, they're, I'm like sure they're I didn't th- know he had a, a kiln, and <laughs> and he, he Adam, was like a blacksmith, What are you too. talking about? This is the scene uh, where they're sending out the orcs to, uh, to go to Minas Tirith? This also looked, this is very like Iron Man. Oh, what the? Yeah, it is. Like when Iron Man's building his suit yeah. in that cave? What is this like? Uh, Avengers low budget? Like this is, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, he's, he's building uh, the the axe. This is a weird axe. Like why would you build that? I don't know. And how do you have a mold for it? <laughs> well, man, something's wrong with his hair. But why would you make it? Why not? Like, don't you have a crossbow? Why would you make this thing? I don't know, dude. There's no explanation to that, is there? This is like this here. This is very Tony Stark when he's building yeah. the thing, eh? We just need the Middle Eastern man next to him. This the is weird. Cool, though. But like, I don't get it. It's like, it's the scene from Evil Dead, right? Where he's like putting on his arm chainsaw. Yeah. Like you got to have that. Look at this. Man, it's chromey. Like it went from like being, it's just... It's clearly just like this cheap, like hollow piece of shit. <laughs> oh, here we go. We're in the we're in the the Mandy chapter. Yeah. Or is that the name of the movie? This is you where know- the movie Mandy starts. Oh, you know what? I'm I'm, I'm starting to get this movie now. Uh, the scene was directed by Tarantino. Right. This fe- <laughs> this feels very Tarantino. It does, doesn't it? Like even Tarantino has that type of style. But then again, he gets his stuff from those grindhouse type of yeah. films. Yeah, he borrows and stuff, homages, if you want to call it that. Stealing Adam. <laughs> so these guys are out for a rip on their bikes. So how does he know where to find them? I don't know. He just does. Guess he just finds them. And like he he all we knew about this guy is that. He uh he worked as a as a woodworker or not a woodworker uh, like a car a logger uh, uh, yeah a logger, and all of a sudden he has an old crossbow and can shoot really really well. I guess he fought in Nam maybe or Korea, so he hits one of them with a arrow. Yeah, which I'm... falling off a bike with all those spikes has gotta hurt. Yeah, because they're all poking back at you. Yeah. So I guess he's a like they don't explain that he's a military man or something like I'm, I'm just assuming he has to be. Well, I feel like you shouldn't have to assume like they've 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 provided us provided us with so much exposition. You think that one little liner would have come up, or maybe like a medal on the wall or something? Yeah, I don't know. There's no exposition in this movie. What the hell? Right? What? What the guy's suit made out of? Jesus. That, like, stationary bike shot looks so bad. I know. You're like, oh, he's not moving at all. <laughs> so that one guy's dead, I think, probably. You'd think. Oh, anyway. look, it's planets? It's, uh... Okay, it's a book. Oh, look, uh, that's Superman's, uh... It's another, uh, animation sequence. Right, I got you now. I got you now. Again, very movie. heavy metal ever watch heavy metal like i'm familiar with it but it's uh it's all right the music's really cool from it but it's like it's, it's sort of i don't know it tries it's, to do something right and it fails yeah i don't know it's just like as a kid you're like you watch that as a kid that's not a kid's movie well i watched it when i was young but yeah just all the like sex imagery and stuff. and stuff that's in it um you're like whoa this is awesome but it, none <laughs> of it makes any sense you know like this movie so are we missing certain imageries that we're like supposed to, to be getting here? Is there like a uh, a thing? A brochure, they were to, like a, a guidebook? Like, is there like a message they were trying to make? Like, is this like Mother? Like where no. Mother, the movie is all about like, you know, the Bible? 
Yeah. Like, is this what this is about? No. Like, is there like a hidden message in there somewhere? There is. Hey, I've no yet one to find found it. it. I've yet to find it on the internet. I've done. I've, d- I've done a lot of searching. They were c- super obscure about it. Might have been too obscure, but it's actually uh, it's based on yeah. Snow White. <laughs> <laughs> I guess there's a lot of like Bible imagery, like with the with the like I told you right there. Yeah, crucified. I'm telling you, like he got stabbed. Jesus got stabbed. I know with the spear. Now he's got a nail through his hand. Come on, come on. That's what they're going for. I guess a little bit. He's they're they're making him out to be the Christ figure. I guess a little bit, eh? That's what it seems to be to me. Like I don't I don't I don't see what else it could be. Next thing you know, they'll, they'll make him drink because he's a, he works in wood. This is my favorite shirt. He works in wood, like he does, like wood, like like yeah. carpentry, you know, like. Yeah, I guess now that you're saying it out loud, I guess that's right. The, he gets stabbed, like in the, the sort rib, of the through line, the the, the the freaking nail in the hand. But things are starting to make sense here, Adam. That's the message. But I don't think he does a lot of Jesus stuff in this movie. No, but neither does Neo. You can still be a Christ figure and kill people. I, I mean, even Aslan from Chronicles of Narnia, who is like the Christ figure in like popular literature and movie, also kills people. So you can't. You don't have to be perfect um, to be a Christ figure. So you've watched the scene for a minute now. Have you noticed anything strange about the room yet? No. Uh, okay. Well, just keep watching. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I want to see this guy's face. Is it like a mask? Looks like a doll mask. I'm not noticing anything. He's like, do you have a death wish? And he's like, I don't want to talk about that. And we're like, <laughs> can, can we just like, can you skip the question, please? What? That's a weird line. Is it a bathroom? Like, like toothbrush and stuff? What the? Did you notice the hole in the floor? Earlier? No, did you? <laughs> yeah, in the theater, I'm like, well, that was convenient. <laughs> like, did they show you a hole in the floor before? No. no. I was kind of hoping you would use the nail hand, like you'd pull it out oh, and stab yeah. him, you know, like with the nail still in his uh, hand. No, come on. The hole, the, 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 the nail hand? Come on. That's like in your face. It's in your face, Adam. In your face. Yeah, that's a weird hole to have. That's like a safety hazard, you know? It's not up to code. No, tell you right now. no, no, not at all. Like, I mean, honestly, if I was like, like, I would not stand close because like the guy could have just kicked him and he fell like his, his feet were. If anything, he was safe for being chained up. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I'm thinking of his one hand, he had both hands, right? But his feet were free as anything. So he, like he kicked that guy wrong and like falls like they should have seen that coming. I don't know. What's he so, going to do? What's he going to uh, do with that? He steals this guy's vest, which it's like, sick. And, What's he going to do with that, that exacto knife? That was in the basement of that place. What place? The house? This house that these guys live in. Why is there a giant pit? This giant pit of hell. Who knows, dude? This is where they live now. That's not his house, though, right? No, it's okay. these other guys' house. Okay, thank God. Like, I wouldn't know. What the? So they uh, they I killed this. They killed that guy. You know what? That this this isn't their house. That was their house. The people, the couple that's dead. Probably. That was, yeah. They had the pit. Yeah. <laughs> and why honey, did they have that pit? Honey, can you go fill out the pit tonight? No, oh, I'm sorry, honey. My, my back hurts. You know, I'll fill it up another night. But we've lost Jimmy. <laughs> These guys live like pigs. Yeah, they're pigs. Yeah, look at that. Look at all that Chinese takeout. <laughs> <laughs> How do you Can get you just imagine to them place? sitting down like like down with all the spikes and stuff? Like you're like, what do you want to order? You want, you want pizza? Or like I'm kind of feeling burgers right now. Chinese man, I want. They're watching porn. They're watching this shitty porn. Why is this he wearing a mask? Doing coke, and he's got like a knife boner. <laughs> what is this movie? He's doing all this coke. But like, it's it's so hard to tell what you're seeing, right? You're like, is like, was that a mask? Was that not? Oh, man, look at that 70s Asian porn. Yeah, I don't know, man. He tries to stab him, but he sees but he him. He sees TV. him coming in the TV. Pun intended. <laughs> oh. 
Look, he's wearing the Batman gauntlets. It is Batman. Like, it is a spinoff of Batman. Right? This is a what if. That's Bruce Wayne. <laughs> he's actually like a Jason figure now. What is he almost stabbed on? him with his knife boner? Is it an actual knife boner? Yeah, they stabbed Ugh. him in the neck, <laughs> and it just keeps going. <laughs> oh my god! What the hell? With with the porn on in the background. Yeah. So it is a knife boner. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, man. and he throws him off. This is also one of my favorite bits of the movie coming up. This is your favorite bit. No, the, sure the bathroom scene is my favorite bit. Not this this on loop porn. What the hell? Man, he's a bad shot. Shoots the TV. <laughs> <laughs> you hit my shot! shot! It's it's <laughs> <laughs> You hit my shot! It's that freaking Watch look he gives. This. <laughs> What? <laughs> he does coke off glass? This broken glass. He's like, oh man, he really took all of that too. Yeah, he went for it. He like, like I, Tony it, Montana what, did. What is that, anyways? Is uh, is it like I forget what they use in uh, in uh, Wolf of Wall Street, but they got like sick and. Someone told me it's vitamin B. Yeah, but they they did too much. <laughs> yeah, I've heard like you can you don't get high, but like you get like. Uh, well, people also put like baby, uh, baby lax, x lax. Oh, you can shit then. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's many ways of like, damn, he really took that thing in. But like, look at all this. Ch- I can't imagine these monster things with, with knife boners eating like a jar of peanut butter. No, eh? Like multiple jars of peanut butter. These really, these guys like go crazy for Chinese and peanut butter. Yeah, I don't know, man. They're, They're just like trying to make like peanut sauce. Yeah, they're making their own dipping sauce. (laughs) Do we have any hoisin sauce? (laughs) That's how they talk. Yeah, because it must have been in the kitchen, right? I don't know. Yeah, let me look. Let me look around the house for this this crossbow. You know, it's got to be in the kitchen right next. You know what's funny is that this place is a complete fucking mess. But they had the peace of mind to be like. Well, we don't want it to be too messy. Yeah, Maybe I'll put I'll, I'll the put thing this, away. I'll put the axe on top okay, of Okay, so there. here's this jar of goo, which is like... The, the LSD. How does he know what it is? He doesn't. It just looks like an expired jar of like... Fucking Vaseline? Like, this, that's what Vaseline looks like. <laughs> so he's like... Oh, no. Don't do gonna, it. He's going to do some. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Ugh. That's it? That's all you need is an Indiana Jones, like, freaking, like, face melting thing? So that guy, that other guy drank the whole fucking thing. Nicolas Cage, like, touches it with his mouth like, like, like a police officer would, would do in a movie. (laughs) Like, oh, yeah, this is cocaine. (laughs) And he's gone completely AWOL now. Did you rip my shirt? (laughs) Rip my shirt? I feel like he would need more than that. Like that, man, that's really potent moonshine. Damn. It looks pretty crazy. Don't need to take the door. Yeah, no, he's, uh, he's, he's too effed up now for that. So now he's like, he's, he's going to kill some mofos. He's going to go kill some mofos. And that was, he's dead. (laughs) Jumps off the house and drops off, jumps off the roof. Like, (laughs) Like it's nothing. Man, he's on LSD right now. He's on like a petroleum jelly LSD. And so there's this other guy just like hanging out by a burning car. That's weird. It was a trap. Unless the guy's already... The guy's already dead. No, I think it's a different guy. What the? But it might not be. Wait, he shot the guy in the face and he's just taking out the arrow with his face? What? Ugh, what? Yeah, I don't fully understand. Like, these people are just supposed to be on LSD, yet they're, like, unbeatable. They're, like, Jason-level shit. <laughs> right? I-, I feel like anytime you wear a mask, you become, like, uh, ten times more powerful. Your power levels go up. Yeah. You, you level up. We should do something about that. Like, like anytime you're in a horror movie, you're going to go slash some people, put a mask on, and, like... Instantly yeah. invincible. Wait, before you commit this murder, wear a mask. Why? Oh, you become unbeatable with a mask. And if you wear anything like like a cool like hockey mask or like a Star Trek 
like mask you, you, you'll be you'll, you'll, you'll be really powerful also walk don't run you'll always catch up if you're walking <laughs> It's so weird. So this guy is like sort of unfazed by getting yeah. shot in the neck. Wait, so he pulled it out like behind him? I don't know. Again, I don't understand the continuity of the scene. And like he's just he's fighting with an act. Like it, it seems like a, a a weird medieval film right now. Like like he only had two arrows. Yeah, That's... he had two arrows and an axe. Which is like, like, you think he would take more than one arrow. And, I mean, he shot the guy in the face. Or maybe just bring a gun. <laughs> no, nah, then there wouldn't be a movie. He would just... Yeah, yeah, the guy had a shotgun. Why didn't he use the, the gun from the house? But you're like... Okay, I, I don't understand. He's slicing the guy with the, with the axe, and yet he's, like, he's able to not kill him. Why do they talk like that? LSD won't make you talk like a demon. I don't know. They're talking like they're in a heavy metal band. Like <laughs> they're always singing. They're always a perform. Look at them. Always a performing. That is creepy shit. He's like on the ground on fire and he's just he's going. She burns. Gross. <laughs> That's it, right? That's all the guys. He's killed all the monster guys. <laughs> His face? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> oh, come on. Got to get that cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> I knew I should have. I, I picked the wrong day to quit smoking. <laughs> <laughs> this is like Nicolas Cage, the best. But then like, oh, He's wait. going to use the fire. From He's going to use the fire from the skull. burning guy's head. Of course. And then he's like, thanks. <laughs> That's a weird face. Why is he doing that face? <laughs> <laughs> he's gone. He's insane. Have you right? seen have you seen Mom and Dad? Uh no. Is that another Nick Cage freak yeah. out movie? Yeah. Yeah. It's a it, it's pretty much like all of a sudden like all the parents just start going crazy and want to kill their young. Oh. Yeah, it's on Netflix, and it's it's not as weird as this. This is this is like top level crazy, but it's got some great Nick Cage so, moments. The they do a lot of like digital set extension stuff mm -hmm. in this movie. I guess I don't know. Like, so again, no explanation of who or how he got there. Like, who is how did he find it? How do you, find, how do you find the place? But this is the chemist guy they were talking about earlier. The chemist, right. Because he's got maggots and he's playing with water. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I, I don't Tell know. me I'm wrong. <laughs> Ooh, and he's got a Luger? Yeah, he's got a golden Luger, which you're like... Man, is he the man with the with the golden gun? No. It's not Christopher, Christopher Lee? No. And... Uh, and he turns off his tape he was listening to. That was the, That's what he was listening to. Imagine listening to that. That's creepy music. So I, I've seen this guy in other movies. I just, I, I don't know. All right, let's see if I him. can recognize him. He's cool, man. Don't even worry. It's, it's William H Macy. What are you talking about? Yeah, I have seen that guy before. Richard Brake is his name. What has he done? He's been in Doom. He's been in the Kingsman. So he's probably been in stuff like as like one of those like small rolls. What's he going to do? What's he what is he going to eat his finger? He's tasting the LSD he made. That's what he was making. It was LSD. I'm LSD assuming. looks like water. I should be really careful. <laughs> it, like, is that a thing? Like, do people I don't do know. LSD these oh, days? Oh, this guy also owns a tiger. Who doesn't? <laughs> Lizzie the tiger? Nice. This is weird dialogue. I think he gives the tiger LSD. I don't know. Oh, he was wearing a tiger shirt. Now he's going to fight a tiger. Yeah, yeah. Does he not fight the tiger? Does he fight the tiger? Adam? No. Man, that's missed opportunity right there. They've already killed a deer. Might as well kill a tiger. So he just like 
talks to this guy for a second, but he doesn't say anything. And this guy says a lot of weird shit. Yeah. I, and again, this is my tiger. again, he's just making these like stops. Oh shit. The tiger. He does fight the tiger, man. Here we go. I would not want to mess with that tiger. Here comes the tiger. Here we go. If this was a Tom Cruise film, Tom Cruise would fight the tiger real in like real life. He would. Yeah, he would train for like two years on how to like fight a tiger, and then he would just do it. <laughs> <laughs> he, he'd be he'd be fighting a tiger while flying a helicopter. That's the next one right there. Defusing a bomb <laughs> while fighting a tiger on top of him. the The bomb is in the tiger. Yeah, that's how it there is. There you do. go. Why they gotta be like that? And this whole time, he's still just like holding this pace, this this face. Like, who fucking writes this shit? Co- uh, Cosmos. What is that? So he's standing in all these things. Centipedes. What are which those you're things? you're like, is he standing in it or is he like high off his own supply? Ooh, that's that's never good. You because that's how you 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 never taste your own. Uh, you never, you never do that. I know that from experience, uh, from watching movies. And then, so yeah, again, the dialogue. What the fuck is he saying? Like he says nothing in this fucking scene. It looks like he's about to get beamed up by aliens, or is it just? He me? looks like an alien. Yeah, everyone has got really, really, really black eyes. Like eyes. Their eyes. Yeah. Well, because like it's the lighting, right? So you never see like the everyone color just or looks anything. Evil. Evil. That's good. What is happening? <laughs> right? I mean, that's cool imagery. Just a tiger with like the music coming up. It looks like something from uh, what the hell is that movie? Kung Fu Fury. Kung <laughs> Fury. A little bit, yeah. Um. So you just what tell the chemist guy tells Nicholas Cage where these guys live. But how did he find the chemist? Good question. Okay. How does he find anything in this fucking movie? Now he's uh, he's living... Uh, I, oh, I know this movie. Journey to the Center of the Earth. It's something. Like, where is this? Valhalla? <laughs> Jesus Valhalla. Because apparently these people are Christians, and yet... Like, also, this are... is the worst four-wheeler ever. It just can't go through mud. Yeah. It's not meant for that. It, don't you know it's meant for show? Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it looks like it's having real trouble. It's a uh, it, what? Come on! That's what four wheelers are for, man. That's why they're f- all terrain vehicles. <laughs> Imagine, like, uh, wouldn't it be hilarious? Doesn't like, even oh, look come stuck. on! He can just get out and push it. It's not that heavy. He's, well, I guess I gotta walk from here. No, he's not gonna walk. That'd be the stupidest thing ever. He walks from here. No, he does not. No. Yeah, dude. Is that an old car? Is this like a, like, did a bomb go off here? I don't know. Like, Like, isn't he a po- It looks like he's in a post-apocalyptic world now. I don't know. It, like- Mad Max. I think, like, it's, like, his descent into hell. Like, he's going into hell. Yeah, exactly. But- He's gonna sacrifice himself in the end, doesn't he? (laughs) Oh, he's Jesus. This is very heavy metal, this part. Like, this, like- This lady's naked. (laughs) And there's a weird stabby demon. Like, is that supposed to be? What, what, I don't know what it's supposed wah! to be. That's the odd, oddly sexual. But that the glowing orb is taken right from uh, heavy metal. Like it's right from. Is it? Yeah. And it's like even like that pose. Is that the ocarina? If you look at like the, uh, <laughs> if you look at the heavy metal poster, it, it's like it looks it's very similar to that. Interesting. So you can definitely see where they're, I guess, getting their inspiration from. Salamander. All right, show me this poster. It's like, you oh, see, yeah, like, the pose. Bit, yeah, although she's not naked, so. It's not the same, Adam, if she's not naked. So, I don't know, now he just, like, wakes up. But but where was he? <laughs> Beats me, dude. I, I don't under he was underground now he's in the forest like the same forest he was earlier so he he went th- through hell and like got out of it I don't know like uh, like is the river supposed to signify the river sticks or like no you know what like because like Jesus does go to hell does he I'm pretty sure he does 
I don't remember much. Like it's been a while since I've read the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah, I, I think he descends into hell for a bit. Okay. Well you know. Uh oh. Uh oh. He put he put his jacks there. Right? Like where does he get all this stuff? Yeah, all the guy gave him was like a couple of arrows. <laughs> <laughs> like what <laughs> punch you in the face. Oh, here we go. <laughs> You're Damn. hurting me. That guy got it easy. Unless right? he's about to do more. No, he's gonna he's gonna get something more bad. Oh, good, good, good. The guy deserves it. Who talks like that? She burned brightly. Like, would you talk like that to, to the guy that you like? You know, you killed like his wife or whatever. Yeah, if I was high in LSD all the time and I was in a call, I might talk like that. Oh, is he going to, like, slowly stab him? Through the mouth. Oh, no. Gross. Shut up. Ugh. I wonder how they did that. That looks kind of cool. That's Guess. probably, like, a tube in his mouth. Yeah, maybe, eh? Like, obviously, the that's not very far in his mouth, right? No, but like, it's probably just, like, three different axes, different lengths. Oh, yeah, 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 big time. It's still gross. It's a lot of blood. Still very gross. <laughs> You're next. <laughs> and she's like, hi. He, Are he... you starting a cult? <laughs> I'll <laughs> totally join you. I'm pretty good at cult stuff lately. Are you like the cult of Nicolas Cage? That That's a cult. I'm sure that exists somewhere. People just following Nick Cage's his, uh, his methods. Yeah, I don't know. The, the, the Nicholas Cage Church of Latter-day Saints. <laughs> so, like, two days have gone by. Two days? Well, yeah, because it was, like, night, then it was morning, then it was night, now it's night again. It was night twice in a row? Yeah, this is the second night. Because he woke up, like, with the stream. I mean, it was really dark, though. No, it was, like, day-ish. I mean, nothing's ever been bright except for that bathroom. <laughs> right? Like, even when it's super nice outside, it's still dark. <laughs> wow. I like that, though. I will say that's cool imagery. Yeah, that's pretty cool, eh? Yeah. This that, movie does have pretty cool imagery. Like, the freaking axe swinging is like, it's very Evil Dead, actually. Yeah. It makes me... I mean, I will reference Evil Dead a lot because that's the only really, like, 80s horror movie that I've watched most of the time. Yeah, but it's classic. It is a classic. I enjoy it. All right, so who's he got left, really? What do you like? Chainsaw. Come on, chainsaw. Come it's on, a logging chainsaw. community. Yeah, but come on, chainsaw. This is actually a great scene. Chainsaw. Will he put it on his arm? In no. his hand? He cuts off his hand to put it on his hand. I want to see that. I don't know if they've ever done uh, a chainsaw scene like this in a movie before. I feel like they might have. A chainsaw scene like this? Yeah, well, wait wait till it. Wait, we're, we're talking, this is after Chainsaw Massacre, too. Yeah, I guess I've never really seen Chainsaw Massacre. It's a, it's a guy, it's about a big guy that, that chainsaw massacres people. I, uh, if I was going to murder somebody with a you chainsaw. Think I'd start the chainsaw. I first. might start it first. Yeah. Make sure it works. Exactly. You wouldn't be like, because like that's the worst thing. Are they gonna both have chainsaws? <gasps> no! <laughs> oh, and it's a giant chainsaw. He's got a bigger chainsaw. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is the best part, <laughs> right? <laughs> They've got two chainsaws. One is like this gigantic like chainsaw. Start the chainsaw, Nick Cage. What? <laughs> 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 this is awesome right just, but he never started his come on Nick you got this there we go a freaking it's, oh has there ever been a chainsaw fight in a movie like I feel like wielding I, I feel like, like I've swords? seen that somewhere or not I don't know I feel like there was that zombie game that had some weird chainsaw stuff yeah 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 that is so odd, but so cool. <laughs> it's fun. Like, it's yeah, a fun... like they're, they're fighting pretty much as bad as Highlander, <laughs> but with chainsaws. We just need some queen. 
<laughs> oh, it's on throttle. That was cool. I will admit. So I like that they chain they trade chainsaws. Oh well, you just ruined. It. I didn't know he was gonna take the big chainsaw. Well, Why you, would you're he... seeing it now. Like you're seeing it take. Yeah. Well, like now, I, I didn't see that first. Oh, chains! He's becoming. He's becoming Ghost Rider. <laughs> Like, if you see the guy swinging, like... Swinging the chain. Swinging a chain. Oh, come on. I feel like you can stop a chain, a giant chain like that to swing it around like your neck. the exposition of how this guy falls oh, on the chainsaw. Oh, what the hell? They didn't... They, they could have they shown the chainsaw below him. Yeah, I they? feel like they could have done that better. Yeah. That's what I feel like Predator is like every once in a while. Spoiler for the Predator. It just feels like... The new one? Yeah, it just feels like you're missing a scene where like something's about to happen. You know what I mean? Like that chainsaw yeah. scene right there. A you don't shot, see the you chainsaw. Mean, like you're missing a couple yeah. shots. Yeah. Like you, you don't get the satisfaction of a kill because you're missing like a part, right? Like you, like you have to piece it together in your mind. You're like, oh, I guess it's cool. So this is their church, apparently. Yeah. Um, it's a very religious film. Which is, I mean, this is probably one of the most blasphemous films so far. <laughs> yeah. like, Since the, uh, Dogma. I mean, like, at least Dogma doesn't take itself too seriously. You know what I mean? Like, this film takes itself very seriously. Well, it does not it doesn't. I don't know if it... Like, that's the thing. I don't know what their, their, their point was going for fun or were they going for more serious aspect, right? But then again, they just we just we just witnessed a chainsaw fight, so I'll, yeah. I'll I'll go more towards. They were having a little bit of fun, and so there's so much that makes no sense about where he goes in this film, right? But so okay. like they're like, okay, we want to build a church, but first let's build an entire tunnel system underneath. Yeah, that's that's weird. Like, who designed this? Like, someone from Minecraft? <laughs> like, seriously. That's how you travel in Minecraft, man. Tunnels. Yeah. Well, I do. It took me forever that's to build a tunnel. That's how the Viet Cong travel too. <laughs> or uh, that's how they got uh, El uh, El Ron Hubbard. No, the the <laughs> El Chapo. Uh, El Chapo out. <laughs> yeah. These are the El Chapo tunnels. <laughs> yeah, those are the guys that they hired. So this isn't some weird fallout shelter. Yeah. Which you're like, oh, this is kind of cool imagery. But you're like... I still don't get why? Yeah. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff in this movie. Like, you feel like... It feels like... It feels. It almost feels like sometimes... I think that's what he means. Like, he, he just wrote cool-looking scenes of what he thought is it would be and then just tied them all together without really giving yeah. them a story reason for it. No, like, it's just like, oh, it's a revenge movie, I guess. Let's make it cool for this. Let's add this in here. You this know what? There's like, like a bunker of some kind. Like, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, there's going to be a bunker, but it's going to be a church at the top. But why? And they're preparing for the end of the world somehow. Oh, see, see, that's what I mean. Yeah, he's the new he's the new coming of Jesus Christ. And the other guy is the Antichrist. And he has to stop the end of the world. There yeah. we go. Boom. I just I just I just figured it out. Cracked. Ten reasons why. <laughs> Ten reasons why Mandy is super religious. Um. So she's all like. What's going on? I haven't seen you since we killed your wife. <laughs> so it's been long there. A uh, long time no see. Well, hey, remember earlier oh, the how kids? I, we burned your wife alive and I was all like, oh, cool. I totally didn't mean that. <laughs> see, that's a weird line to say. I know. He like, says he, I'm the most sensual person he's ever been with. Because of my sensitivity. That's weird. You're like, who are you, lady? And why do you want to sell me apples? Ew. You're like, he's why? Like, considering he's like, should I bone this old lady or? No. Ew. Warm waves licking. Ugh. <laughs> you, your friend was right. This is a very sexual film. Like, mm. <laughs> like uh, full of, of actual porn and really close up whisperings. And, 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 and sharp penises. 
Yeah. Knife Uncircumcised penises. penises. Well, I'm talking about the knife boner. Batman's dad's dick. Yeah. Uh, uh, I thought it was a sun rising for a second. No, it's just this tunnel. What is So he's hanging on? out down in the tunnel, like massaging the walls. Like, like he was massaging his body. Yeah. What is going on? And he's like, I don't know. He's hanging out in his uh, Batman cave. And he's like, hey. you know what? I, I can get into this movie if this was a Batman. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> Batman, An alternate what universe. So he cut off her head. Nice. <laughs> 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 it's just like it just looks funny, right? Like a guy in his tidy whiteies kicking an old lady's head. <laughs> she was the most sensual lover. Why'd you do that? <laughs> Why'd you do that, bro? No. I want to know who, like, did the color on this movie, like, because I feel like, like, they probably got a bit in camera, but, like, they probably had to... You think it was all done afterwards? I feel like they had to treat this movie a lot afterwards. They had one, they had, like, three gels. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know, like, looking at set photos, but maybe they got a lot in camera, but... Which is like, I mean, but there are weird colors that it would be hard to get on camera. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I don't know. Who knows? This fading out and fading in thing, like, did they do that on set? Or do you think that was like after the fact where they're like, ah, this monologue sucks. You need to hide it somehow. It goes true black. So it almost seems like it was done afterwards. But then again. I see what you're saying. But then I don't know. But you can add like stuff after and true and you can add the grain structure after and like you can do a lot yeah you, you you're thinking like this movie is everything with its editing <laughs> maybe like maybe like <laughs> you, we don't know what the hell so now his voice is see he's demonic wait does that nicholas cage that talks like that yeah i am so like, it feels like they're just... It's like <laughs> good versus evil, but now Nick Cage is the evil one is what I it seems like. I don't know, dude. Like, I am so confused. And, like, again, the dialogue. It's almost like... It feels like it's like uh, this movie is brought to you by Scientology. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what I mean? Like, or like, you know, like it's just like... It's like one of these religious films that was made, but like clearly there was like a miscommunication. He goes like, yeah, he goes like, I'm here, watch. Yeah. What? I I love the fact that he's all like big and mighty. And as soon as Nick Cage, just like, no, 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 leave me alone. No, 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 please. No, my hair. Wait for it. What? He's not going to let him go because that would just be stupid. What? <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> that escalated quickly. The guy's just wanting, like, to perform fellatio now. I'll suck your dick. What? <laughs> like, that is, that, like, that's a weird turn. Yeah, and, like, a proposition where you're like, if, like, oh, you murdered my wife. I would like a blowjob from you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> would you trust it? <laughs> yeah. And now all of a sudden he's changed again. Kneel before me. Now he thinks he's Zod. <laughs> See, that's the line I would have wanted to hear in Superman. You kneel before me, motherfucker. This is weird, man. Right? Like, Why does you're he like... A, like I, I feel like that gooey LSD makes his voice... Dark, and now he's gonna crush this guy's skull. Oh, that looks fake as fuck. I know that was the only special effect in the movie where I was like, Ah, this why does it look like he just came like, right? He just yeah. like finished, yeah. I know he 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 crushed that guy's skull to completion. Oh, yeah, that head looks terrible. <laughs> like, just that <laughs> maybe it's a good thing it keeps flashing. <laughs> So you don't get to see the true colors of it. Yeah. Imagine again, this mo- like I think imagine that's watching this movie if it had no like if you were watching like true colors, no like dark, like it was just like well lit. It'd be really it would bad. not be the same at all. And he lights 
him on fire in this place, which is apparently just covered in gasoline. Huh, yeah, because the heads won't just burn. Is he like the whore, like the whore that burns bright? Oh, right, yeah, because he was a whore and he he, he burned bright. Is he just gonna, uh, yeah, that's weird. Like, like the temple shouldn't, like, this, 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 this thing full of rock shouldn't burn. No, and I yet it's burning rocks so don't well. Usually burn. You typically, but, but as we've discussed right now today, the, the fire in this movie is like extremely fire. Extremely fire. Extreme fire. It, it, extreme. It'll burn. <laughs> fire extreme. It'll burn anything. That's what it seems like. It'll burn a body like it's nothing. Without like, burning the bag completely without bur- first. Exactly. The okay. gasoline soaked bag. And uh, it'll burn a, a freaking uh, underground, underground full of dirt. We have saw the dirt. How the hell did he burn? I don't even know. <laughs> right? I don't even know. Um, so so he, he walks away in slow motion. Everything's on you fire. Um, and Jesus has done his job. Um... So yeah, it's still not over, but it's not over. No, it's coming. Oh. It's coming close to an end. Okay, all right. I thought like I thought this is what how you would end it, right? But again, like it seems like I don't know. It might be a little better if it was just a little shorter. The movie? Yeah, yeah it's like over a little over two hours. I feel like you could have. I feel like it could have been even more fun if it was. Like an hour and a half, right? Like good hour and a half romp of a good time. Yeah, he's an hour maybe, 45. Maybe take out a little bit of the beginning. <laughs> a lot of the beginning. You, you didn't miss much when you missed this. Like for you, it was even shorter though. Exactly. And yeah. the beginning felt really long in the theater and it felt really long again watching it. Yeah. I, and do you see what I mean by it feels like two movies? Yeah, this one was a lot more entertaining because all we got to see is Nick Cage do stuff. And you're, you're saying that he filmed all that in a weekend? I don't know if he did. I just saw okay. something on. It but doesn't like, seem right because you're right. He's in like half of the movie <laughs> but like you saw that like scene where like that last scene he's just like again this scene i thought it was when i saw it in the theater i thought it was like a um i don't know like it was a flashback a flashback right that's what to like is. maybe when they met right but like this is just completely out of context here oh it's just a scene that it's they're just, just a scene like looking at each other yeah it's a weird scene but like it's just like fucking weird, man. Like, yeah, it does look like a scene. Like, and like, why does she have a scar? It's never explained. Let's do where she got the scar. No, I, at least I don't just, think so. I don't know if the scar comes from like the kidnapping. No, she had that at the beginning. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah maybe. I thought they would explain it. Okay, <laughs> this is so funny. This I mean, that's just terrible driving. You don't like what is this? Like Fast and Furious One. It's coming up. His fucking face coming up. But but why is he not looking at the road, Adam? I don't know. He's fucking just committed mass. Ah, <laughs> what the hell? Right? <laughs> <laughs> that is creepy. <laughs> okay, I don't I don't understand this movie. Yeah, right? Nobody it's- does. <laughs> I don't even think the person who did it. <laughs> what the it's hell? Like his face. Why does he look <laughs> like that? <laughs> So I guess like he appe- he appeased her like he's 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 now finished his justice for humanity. I don't know. This looks human- like really bad green screen. Humanity, though. humanity, mandy. humanity. Humanity is humanity because it sounds similar. <laughs> oh my god, he is Jesus. And what is this post-apocalyptic world? It's like it's, this is hell. Yeah, I don't he know. went to hell and killed the devil, or went to hell and like destroyed evil, or he something. He went to Jupiter. This is weird. Like it's like Krypton. Went to Jupiter to get more stupider. <laughs> That's it. What? All right. Is there like an after credit thing for like Marvel? There, there <laughs> like actually Samuel is, right Jackson. At, there is something right at the end. Is there actually? Yeah. Samuel Jackson shows up. He's like, "I'm here to talk to you about the uh, the the Shield and the uh, Avengers Initiative." No, it's just him fading to dust. <laughs> Is it actually? No. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, so what'd you think? Um, this was weird. I actually prefer the uh, Love Witch. <laughs> yeah, because the Love Witch was actually like you can sort of follow it a little bit better than this. But what's with weird '70s and '80s movies that are just really off the scale of weird? 
Yeah, I, I don't know. I think it's like a a uh, a time in cinema where like people experimented a lot with. But I feel like now they, the the way to do it is you pretend that it is that time, so you can experiment experiment. Yeah, with like you you're forgiven more if it's set in that era. If it was <laughs> set in like 2018, you'd be like, get the fuck out of here. Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't and know. There's no music. The whole credits has no music, which That's is bizarre. Yeah, I guess because you have so much music the entire yeah. and so much just like what is this like the end of Avengers three? I don't know, dude. Um, so okay, first time I watched it, I was yeah. like, oh, that's fucked. I didn't really like it. Second time watching it, and the more I thought about it, I was like, okay, the start kind of was whatever, but the end part is a lot of fun. I mean, it's it's funner. Yeah, it's 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 it was great just watching Nicholas Kate Cheddar Goblin based on an idea. See, look, the, the Cheddar Goblin's got its own credit stuff. Yeah, they had to film that. Oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's got like that's a whole thing that they had to do. Like budget took up budget, you know, for this Gremlin commercial that that serves no well, purpose. Yeah, it doesn't do anything for or at least that, that we or, know of. Maybe it's 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 one of the huge themes of the movie that He's we can setting up a miss. universe basically. Yeah. Of, <laughs> I can see this movie becoming like a cult classic. Where can it's, you? Yeah, I I think it, it it could be something that you're like you're like yo, you see this, you got to watch it. Like I don't know, like Halloween parties, you know. I mean, I will say this movie I will probably never watch again. Dude, you're gonna think about it for a day. And you'll be like. <laughs> And then it's gonna like your seat on your Netflix, and you're like, <laughs> "All right, I got, I gotta at least show you this scene." You're gonna show it to your friend, your girlfriend, your okay, mom. Okay, that's different. That's um, uh, whoa, that's different. Showing a scene than showing a whole movie. We should have just like done this thing in scenes. But like, then you show the scene. They're like, "I have to watch more," and then you just keep <laughs> watching more. I have to watch more to understand. Uh, I mean, you don't. <laughs> You'll never understand. Um. I don't know. Like, I sort of am jealous what? of... No, I'm jealous... Supported by the tax shelter of the federal government of Belgium? Yeah, they filmed it in Belgium. Oh, I think you did mention that. Yeah. Yeah, so Weird. you get a tax grant or something. I don't know. It must be a pretty good... And this thing got a standing ovation. At uh, Cannes. Come on. Come on. Come on. What? Yeah, I don't know. The French... To me, birds tripping. Yeah, you'll get that end credit scene there in a minute. But, like, not a very big crew. Like... No, it's not the no, it's not a very big crew. It's a SAG AFTRA. Yeah, well, yeah. Um uh, no animals were harmed, Adam. Right, so that we know. Fake. So that was the, and you're right, the title did stop as soon as Mandy popped up and that was the end of the title. That's weird. Yeah. Uh, this is a very bizarre film. Like I am sort of jealous. 2017 though. Yeah, it's recent. Dude, it's a year old. No, but I mean, I think that's when they made it. Oh, here we go. Look, he's smoking. That's actually a cool image. I would like that to have that as a poster. Yeah, me too. Nick Cage, a tiger, and just like, yeah. And that's it. Weird. All right, guys. Well, that was our, uh, I our think commentary from, of Mandy. If you watch it, well, good luck. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Be sure to subscribe, rate, and review the podcast. And be sure to follow us on Twitter at Lost Commentary, on Instagram at Raiders of the Lost Commentary, and like us on Facebook. I'll be back.